2006, we were at home in New York and watching um, endless uh, reports of what was going on with the, the Israeli invasion of Lebanon. My family originally comes from Lebanon and Sami's family recently emigrated to Israel. I mean, we were both depressed, like, like never before. And feeling helpless. Human nature is always going to lead you to conflict. We think that it's like a tragic inevitability. We couldn't sort of dance around it. We would have to contend with it within the course of our own work and bringing our own sort of personal narratives into the story of, of uh, a larger geopolitical conflict became inevitable. The works that they've created, which are all video-based, deal with the whole notion of destruction and regeneration around architectural ruins and around cultures. There's something that is ancient and attractive and at the same time kind of repulsive. Why can't these people just get along? Why can't they just, you know, patch their differences and live a prosperous, beautiful life? Every time you speak to somebody in that region, it always starts going, well, because in 1922, well, but because in 1878, well, because in, you know, in 1575. Historical contamination has occurred. The four projects really are a commentary on the landscape of the Middle East and the inevitable connection between the people who live there and the land itself. Our attempt with the exhibition was to create a journey. The idea is not just to have an image, but to have an experience that is immersive.